If you've ever looked at pond water under a microscope, you've probably met the strange and beautiful world of protists. They are eukaryotes organisms whose cells have a nucleus, but they don't fit into the familiar kingdoms of plants, animals, or fungi. Instead, they form an incredibly diverse collection that includes everything from single-celled hunters like amoeba and paramecium, to photosynthetic drifters like diatoms, and even giant seaweeds that can grow meters long. Protists are not a single natural group in fact, they are scattered across multiple evolutionary branches. Modern biology divides them into several major supergroups, such as Excavata, SAR, Archiplastida, Amoebozoa, and Epistheconta. This means that a malaria parasite, a kelp forest, and a blob-like slime mold are all protists, yet are more distantly related to each other than you might expect. Evolutionarily protists are ancient. The earliest known fossils date back almost 2 billion years, long before animals or plants appeared. They were pioneers of some of life's most important innovations. Through endosymbiosis, early protists gave rise to mitochondria and chloroplasts, reshaping the possibilities of life on Earth. Photosynthetic protists, especially oceanic phytoplankton, produce over half of our planet's oxygen and form the foundation of marine food webs. Without them, ecosystems from coral reefs to deep oceans would collapse. Protists also interact closely with other organisms. In coral reefs, tiny dinoflagellates live inside coral polyps, providing them with food through photosynthesis. At the same time, some protists are deadly pathogens, such as plasmodium, which causes malaria, and trypanosoma, responsible for African sleeping sickness. Their ecological and medical impact is enormous. Recent research has revealed just how adaptable they are. New species are being discovered in extreme environments like Antarctic ice and deep-sea hydrothermal vents. Advances in single-cell genomics show that many protists have complex gene regulation systems once thought to be unique to multicellular organisms. Scientists are even engineering certain protists, like euglena and diatoms, for biofuel production and carbon capture. The term protista may be outdated in modern taxonomy, but the concept remains useful. It reminds us that life doesn't always fit into neat categories and that the smallest organisms can have the biggest impact on our planet's history, our health, and our future.